Preparation is the key to achieving a good job. Begin by clearing the room of furniture and covering the remaining furniture and flooring with dust sheets. Polythene back dust sheets are best as they stop paint spills seeping through. Any bare plaster walls will need sealing with a universal plaster sealant as they'll be very absorbent. Now check for any cracks or small holes which will need to be filled with filler. There are a wide range of fillers available to do the job including quick drying, moisture resistant, flexible gap and multi-purpose. These are available in powder form which is then mixed with water or in pre-mixed tubs for convenience. Apply the filler with a filler knife forcing into the cracks and holes and smoothing with a single stroke. You'll get a much smoother finish if you keep your filler knife wet. If the filler still needs smoothing off then let the filler dry and rub down with abrasive paper or blocks. Any loose plaster should be removed and re-plastered. Large holes will also need to be plastered. If the wall's quite rough and filling isn't an option, then you might want to consider covering the wall with a lining wallpaper first. There's more information on how to do this later in the video. Make sure you cover any old stains with a stain block, having made sure you've fixed the cause of the stain first. If you don't do this, the stains will simply reappear through your new coat of paint. Clear any dust and dirt and give all the surfaces to be painted, including skirting and doors, a wash down with sugar soap or similar strong detergent to remove any greasy deposits. Make sure you wear safety glasses to protect your eyes. Then wash down the walls with clean water. 